and we are recording. This recording will be posted as soon as I can. This will be a, a must watch. This will be a recording when someone begins in your business in the next 90 days. This will be one of the first videos that they should see. Um, you know, this is going to be a training that I, I, I love. I love talking about. I've rewatched the training from 2019 multiple times now. Um, and to be honest with you, I, I was slightly nervous. And this is going to be in, in English. I, you know, I was slightly nervous. And the reason why I was slightly nervous is because I was like, this is so, so vital to your success, right? This is so vital to your success. I was thinking about this next 90 days as the first 90 days of the rest of my life, the first quarter of the rest of my life where things were really going to happen. You know, the last four years was practice. You know, the last four years was trial and error. The last four years was getting the hang of the ropes. But I, I think we're ready now. And so before we begin, I want to st start with the state of gratitude. You cannot be frustrated. You cannot be upset. And you cannot, honestly, <laughs> When you're grateful, you can see the future. And so I just want to start by saying, guys, I'm so happy and grateful for 2020. At the end of 2019, we talked about how 2020 was going to be an appointed year. We didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know how it was going to happen or what it was going to be like, right? And I'm sure for each and every single one of us, none of us expected 2019 to go the way it did. But I am so grateful for it. QC went from where it was to a $3 million business. QC grew from 500 people to 1,400. QC grew into 20 countries. I am grew into five different income streams. We grew into 18 different languages. We became a half a billion dollar company. Um, you know, we've launched over 175 educators. We have success stories around the world. We went from a few dozen chairmen to over 450 chairmen. Um, 2020 has been a blessing. And I'm just so grateful for it. I'm grateful for the little things. I'm grateful for the big things. I'm grateful for um, the hurdles. I'm grateful for the things that didn't happen because the time wasn't appointed and it wasn't our turn yet. So guys, I'm grateful for you and I hope that you are grateful as well. And number two, I hope that number one, you're ready to receive. I mean, you're ready to receive and you're ready to go apply, right? I hope you're ready to receive this information and you're ready to apply it because this information, like I said, is extremely valuable. And I was going to title this, you know, planning 2021. Remember, I told you guys, I have the next seven months planned. In the beginning of December, I had the next eight months planned, but we've gone through one month now. So I know exactly where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing, who I'm going to be doing it with until the end of July. And I began to think about that concept when I was taking notes for this training. And one of my favorite quotes is preparation is the highest form of faith. I don't know who I've heard that from. I don't know if I made that up and began to sprinkle throughout, but it is the absolute truth that preparation is the highest form of faith. And a lot of things that Mike and I planned alongside Nancy, when we sat through, we went through those seven months, those eight months, we have no clue how we're going to accomplish it. We have no clue how we're going to get there. We don't know. And the only thing that we did know is that if we prepared for it, we truly believe that it's going to happen. And so tonight I'm going to challenge you in many different ways. This is going to be a little bit different than I've done before, but tonight I'm going to challenge your faith. Not your faith in God, but your faith in you. I'm going to challenge your level of belief. And today I need absolute focus. I need the phones off. I need the distractions put away. I need the dog to go into a separate room. I, I, I need the TV to be turned off. Your boyfriend and girlfriend, they need to go somewhere else. I, I need you focused tonight. And because this isn't for me, this is for you. This information is going to change your situation. You're going to look back on March 31st and remember this call on December 29th of 2020 and be grateful that number one, you had the opportunity to reflect. And number two, you became aware. You had the opportunity to reflect. And number two, you became aware. Guys, we have 48 hours left in the year. There are two days left. At the beginning of, of the month, I said there's 28 days to grind in the year. There's one more holiday that I let people celebrate. That's New Year's Eve. We're not doing a training on Thursday unless we decide to do a pop-up. But you have 48 hours to reflect and become aware. This training will not be done in 50 minutes. 
the Zoom will be done, right? The Zoom will be done. I hope I'm recording. I am recording. Thank, thank you for that message, right? The Zoom will be done in 15 minutes, but this training will not. The Zoom will be done in 15 minutes, but the reflection will not. The Zoom will be done in 15 minutes, but the awareness will not. So I need you guys really to reflect and become aware with me. Guys, you are where you are today because that is exactly where you want to be. And that is the first truth, the first reflection, and the first piece of awareness that we need to have is you are where you are today because that is exactly where you want to be. And if it wasn't, you would have done something more. If it wasn't, you would have done something else. Now that doesn't have to be negative. It was only negative because you're dissatisfied with what you've done over the past 29 days. Some of you were excited to hear that statement and that's okay too. But the realization and the truth that nothing that can be argued here is that you're at where you are because that's exactly where you want to be. All reality is a consequence of our choices, our belief systems, and our affirmations into our own life. So you have to ask yourself this question, right? Because this is really, really important here. You're really going to have to reflect. A lot of these answers, you're not going to be able to, to get right away. I'm not going to pause. We're going to work on it like I did last time. We're going to go right through this. You're going to have to watch the recording. You're going to have to think about this. You're going to have to talk to other people about this. But ask yourself this question because this is the truth behind your next 12 months. This is the truth. Yes, a light switch can be flipped. Yes, momentum can occur. But if the past 30 days was a reflection of my work ethic for 2021, would you accomplish the goals that you desire? I'll say it one more time, just in case you missed it. If the past 30 days was a reflection of my work ethic for 2021. So if the past 30 days equated to my 2021, would I accomplish the goals that I desire? And your, if your answer is no, I challenge you to go all in today. I challenge you to go all in today. It has to be now. Yesterday, Mike had an amazing training on social media. Majority of you just got off Matt Rose's call. Tomorrow, we have one of the biggest soft launches our team has ever seen, followed by the number one, in my, in, in my opinion, my number one mentor, David E. Monitier. On Thursday, we have the day off. On Friday, we have John Guaman. On Saturday, I believe, um, we have, no, not on Saturday. On the day after, I believe, we have a Chairman 750 being prepped for y'all. Um, we're just finalizing some times right now, making some things happen, really starting this year with a kick. But you have to ask yourself, are those calls going to do it for you? Do you really need one more call? Do you really need one more training? Do you really need one more speech, or one more go live, one more signal? Or is what you really need to do make a decision? I think for most of us, what we really need to do is make a decision. Guys, I said today's call was gonna be special. So if it's already hurting, good. If you're already excited, good. Because I, I, I spent a lot of time going through this. And it, it's just this information, I, I, I please do not let this go over your head. This call is so important because listen to this. What you say out loud is created. What you write down is seen. And what you share with others holds you accountable. We're going to be doing all three things today. What you say out loud is curated. What you write down is now seen. And what you share with others, you are now held accountable. Today, we're going to write down our goals. I mean, we're going to speak our goals into existence. We're going to write down our goals so that we can see them on a daily basis. And we're going to share them with our teams, with our mentors, with our accountability partners to make sure that they happen. So guys, let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm super excited about this uh, because this is the first time y'all y'all been seeing this, right? I said, I'm going to open it up today. Well, right now is that time. So now we're opening it up. Oh my gosh, guys, look, look, how, look how good this looks. Let's pull this out the wrapper real quick. You guys know what that smells like? Freedom. Mm, success. Oh, I smell abundance. Oh, I smell seven figures in here. Oh, what else do I sell? Oh, Ooh, I smell 10,000 strong. 
I smell a gift waiting for someone special in Africa. That's why you should buy this is my era. Just telling y'all, right? Damn, I smell a good year. I'm super excited, guys. I am super, super excited. For those who do not have this, right? I'm gonna type the website in the chat. I do not want you to go to the website now. This is myera.com. I do not make money off this. I wish I did. You know how many people I put this on this book? This is why network marketing is amazing. Here is a discount code though. 35% off. I think you have to buy it by the end of the year. The book's going to cost you like 12 or $14. Go get it. Invest into yourself. If you want it, your first tax deduction of the year, here you go. There is your first tax deduction. Go get the planner. Whatever planner you use, it does not matter to me as long as it is a planner that you can write in it. Guys, I hated writing in a planner. I hated it. I always did notes or sticky notes or things on my computer. But here's what I began to realize is if I wasn't writing it down, I wasn't able to track it. I, I would find myself forgetting people who I spoke to, teams I was working with, um, important pieces of information, what my priorities were, because I would just delete it automatically because I love the endorphin rush, right? The dopamine rush to my brain every time I, I accomplished a task. But at the end of the day, I was like, what the hell did I do today? right? So find a planner that works for you. If you want to start with a piece of paper, start with a piece of paper. If you want to start with this is my era, start with this is my era. But you need a planner because you need to be able to track your goals, right? If you cannot track your goals, you cannot scale. And so this is what we're going to start with, guys. We're going to walk through this planner together. I'm not going to use this one. This is for my own personal use. I have <laughs> my notes on the side to write in it. I'm really excited. It's like Christmas for me right now. I'm like a kid all giddy getting my new planner, right? But these are the three questions that we're going to start with. These are three very important questions that I want each of you to write down. Anyone taking digital notes, please share them in the chat. But question number one is this, and this is literally the second page of the book. And this is going to be one of the biggest focuses, one of the things that we're going to spend the most time on, because I think it's one of the most important. All right. Question number one, for those of you who do not have the book, for those of you that do, you can see it with me. All right. Number one, what does your era look like, feel like, and sound like? What would you be doing? What does your era, E-R-A, look like, feel like, and sound like? What would you be doing? And your era is simply just a 90 day segment of time. So what does it look like, feel like, sound like, and what would you be doing? This is you reflecting and envisioning yourself in those 90 days. Question number two, why is this vision important to you? Why is this vision important to you? Number three, who or what inspires you? Who or what inspires you? Now, I'm going to read some examples. And I'm going to read the ones from 2019 because the ones from 2020, I do not have written down. I have them segmented, but they're not official. They're not, they're not like affirmed. They're not fully written down yet. I haven't seen, I haven't created. I have the template but I need to write it down. So remember, we got 48 hours still to do this. I'm not worried about it, right? We got 48 hours still to do this. But let me read to you what I wrote down in 2019. I said, for number one, what does your era look like, feel like, and sound like? What would you be doing? I don't want you to copy this. I want this to be yours. You remember, feeling is the secret here, right? You have to decide, right, what you want yours to be. And, and, and the, the issue is these are loaded questions. These are intense. And if we truly believe what we write down is done, what we profess to the God, what we profess to the universe is done, it's created, these are kind of scary questions. So take your time with this. Really reflect on what you desire. Become aware of what you desire. Spend time thinking about what you desire, right? Because these three questions, the answers to these questions, my bad, are going to determine your reality. They are. They're going to determine your reality. And, and this is how I know it because I'm going to challenge you guys to something. I'm going to challenge you to this. When you are done with this, I want you to read these three answers every morning and every evening. The moment you wake up, the moment you wake up and every evening before you go to bed for 30 days straight. 
from Jan December 29th, if that's fine. But if you start on January 1st, all the way to January 31st, the moment you wake up and the moment you go to bed. This is so, so important. If you fail, let's say January 15th, you forget to do it. Well, guess what? January 16th is day one again, but you have to do it for 30 days. Watch what is going to happen to your life. Watch what is going to happen to your mindset. Watch what's going to happen to your business. Watch what's going to happen to your reality. I promise you, I promise you, things are going to change. And do not say things just for saying something, right? If you're a P150 right now and you're not feeling Chairman 10, don't say it. I am so happy and grateful now that I am Platinum 2000. That's fine. I'm not judging you. That's what you feel. That's what you feel. Who, who am I to say your feelings are wrong? Because if I convince you to say something else, and we know that feeling is a secret and our thoughts are irrelevant unless we have we feel alignment with them, this activity is pointless. So you need to do what you feel is right here. You need to do what you feel is right. Now, does that mean, does that mean that you need to have an A-level goal? No. Does that mean you need to give yourself a B-level goal? No. They still need to be C-level. They still need to be challenging. They still need to be scary. They, they, if you read me your goal, I should say, yep, that aligns. I like it. I like it a lot, right? So I'm not giving you permission to be weak. I'm not giving you permission to do less. I'm giving you permission to be you. But do you know who you are? Ponder on that question first. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what to say. I'm telling you to be you. But really, really understand who you are. This is what I wrote in 2019. I said, I am so happy and grateful now that I am Chairman 25. In the next era, we have produced four Chairman 10s and acquired 1,250 customers. There is daily events and regionals happening every month. I will travel more and impact abroad. The team is touring simultaneously and new QC family members join daily. I feel abundant, blessed, and worthy. I surround myself with influence and receive only positive information. I am all in and I am the top recruiter. I obtain, train, and retain. Now, did all of those things happen? No. Am I disappointed I wrote that thing down? No. But here's the transparent truth. I didn't read this every day. So guess what? The reality is my fault because I didn't read it every single day. We got 1,250 people. We had more than that, 1,400. We traveled around the world. We did regionals. I felt pretty abundant this year. This year was pretty good. We retained people that we brought in. Mike was the top recruiter. I wasn't, but you know, that's going to change in 2021, <laughs> right? But I, I went through this. Imagine if I read this every single day. That's the only regret I have. Where, what, what, have what really would have happened? Right, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am Chairman 25. Right, we're producing chairmen, we're acquiring customers. There's events happening every single day. We're traveling, the team is traveling. New people are getting started. I'm feeling abundant, I'm feeling blessed, I'm feeling worthy. I surround myself with influence. I only receive positive information. Doesn't mean bad things aren't gonna happen. It just doesn't mean I'm gonna receive it. You can tell me all the negative news in the world, but if I don't accept that as my reality, I don't accept it. I'm all in. I'm the top recruiter. I obtain people, I train people, and I retain. That's a good example for you. It doesn't need to be the exact same. Just write things out. Some things that I have in my 2021, I'll read for you guys, right? I have happy, healthy, wealthy. These are just words that were coming. I have chairman duplicated. I talk about growth. I talk about travel, abundance, impact. I have key words. It literally says 2021 quarter one rough draft, right? Key words, things that must be in my statement to myself that I'm going to read every single day. I'm going to accept this challenge. I know the reality I'm going to create. I dare you to do it. So why is this vision important to me? I'll read the other one. It's very similar to this one. I may actually copy it. I like it a lot, right? This vision and affirmation is important because it creates financial abundance in the lives of thousands. My mom will retire 
in August of 2021, which is the date, and be able to do what makes her happy. This vision will set people free and bring them to fulfillment. It will create psychotic belief, which will trickle into the lives of millions and leaving this planet positively impacted. So why is what you desire, what your era looks like, what it feels like to you, what it sounds like to you, what you're doing in it, why is that vision important to you? Is it because of your family? Is, is it for a worldly matter? Is it a spiritual matter? Um, is it because you have a certain goal? Why is every single day you going through this, you doing the productive work? Why is it important to you? Number three, who or what inspires you? I wrote this down. I, I think a really good way to do this is write down five names, their Instagrams, and their cell phone numbers. Who inspires you? Talk to them every single day. Shoot them a message. Build a deeper relationship with them. <laughs> Stalk them on social media. But I wrote this. I said, I am inspired by my why and the progression of others were the ideals. The success of others is my biggest motivation. Therefore, I must be willing to go all in for the success of others in order to completely fulfill the blessing of this era. So I made a challenge for myself. I, I, I like how I did this way. You don't have to do it, but I like it because what I told myself was anything that you desire will not be achieved unless you put the desires of other people's first. Unless you serve first, you will never be served. Unless you see it that other people win, you will never win yourself. Whatever route you want to go, it doesn't even have to be that. <laughs> you could say, yo, the Lambo inspires me. <laughs> whatever, whatever it is for you, if that's what it is for you, that's what it is for you, right? That's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But why and who, my bad, who and what inspires you? So let's go into goal setting now, right? We're, we're, last year we paused and this training took a long time. We're going to dive right into it. We're already 25 minutes in here. Uh, but I want to talk about goal setting. And I love using this story because I think this story, number one, is super iconic uh, and number one, super valuable because, you know, a lot of the times we yell chairman, we yell FTMO funded, we yell impact, we yell all these great things, right? But if we really reflect on the past 30, 60, 90, 365 days, how many of those activities actually aligned towards prioritizing those goals that we have? <laughs> it stings, it hurts, but here's the difference. It's the truth. Richard Branson one, uh, once said that he only allows himself to prioritize three things a year. And if any activity doesn't align with those three tasks, he will not do it. And so one day he got a phone call to speak at a seminar and it was a one hour speaking gig and they were going to pay him $50,000 to speak. Now, some of you would say, oh, $50,000, that's a lot of money. I would take it. He said, no. They called back and they said, we'll pay you 100000 The secretary went back to Mr. Branson, said, sir, they doubled it. Do you want to do this or not? He said, no. So she called back. He said, no. The lady said, we'll make it $250,000. He said, no. They called back. We'll say, we'll do half a million dollars for you to speak for one hour. He said, no. They called him back and said, we will write an empty check. You put the number you want. He said, no, but this time he called and he explained why. He said, it's not that I don't see what you're doing is valuable. It's not that I don't see what you're doing is good. It just doesn't align with what I want to accomplish this year. Therefore, I cannot come. But next year, if your goals align with mine, I would more than be willing to come and speak for you for your original price, the $50,000. This is someone that owns hundreds of companies, has made millions. I mean, tens, if, I'm pretty sure he's a billionaire. I'm pretty sure, right? Let's just say hundreds of millions of dollars just to be safe here. And still doesn't allow activities that aren't in alignment to his goals occur. Think about how crazy that is. And, and goals are one of the coolest things in the world because you know the way I look at life is, is how I look at like a menu. You know, when you go to a restaurant or you're going through a drive-through or you're at Starbucks, there's an abundance of options. 
And, and that's really how life is too. There's an abundance of options. And we have one of the most amazing abilities called imagination, which allows us to order whatever we want in our life. Whatever we want, whatever we desire is an option for us. We just have to order it. You know, I remember Jason having a conversation with Jason last year about how many countries that he's visited. And, you know, he, he was saying he's visited 40 countries in the past three years. And I was like, you know, I want to accomplish that goal too. And so I remember writing in my planner, 40 countries. I want to visit 40 countries in the next three years. And a few weeks later, Mike calls me and says, hey, Nancy and I are looking to go to Europe. Do you want to come? We're going to do 10 countries in 30 days leading up to the London Convention. <laughs> I vocalized it. I wrote it down and it happened. Now, did I do 40 countries? No, I'm at 15, but I'm on track. Right. But if I never wrote that down, if I never said it out loud, would it have happened? Maybe because I surround myself with amazing people, but not as likely. Right. So you have to write your goals down. And here's the thing. Make your goals fractal. Right. In this book, I'll show you what this looks like right here really quick. If I can pull up this page, I'm in the weekly reviews. Right. This is the first thing that you're going to start with is writing down 10 things that you want to accomplish, write them down, just nice in order, 10 things that you want to accomplish. They, they don't have to be um, what you want to accomplish first. They don't, they don't have to be any of that, right? Just 10 things that you want to accomplish and make some of them long-term, make some of them short-term because you know, you know some people, they, they don't even think 10 years in advance, right? Drop something crazy. Like I want to be a billionaire. I want to create a, a, a non-for-profit that does X, Y, and Z. I want seven figures in whatever it may be because what you accomplish in 10 years is simply just done year by year. To get to 10 years, you focus on your yearly goals. To get your yearly goals, you focus on your quarterly goals. To accomplish your quarterly goals, you focus on your monthly goals. To get your monthly goals, you focus on your weekly goals. And to get your weekly goals, you focus on your daily goals. But the 10 years don't happen if you don't focus on the day, and we're going to get to the daily in a little bit, but write these out, right? I had some of these, some of these I accomplished, right? They didn't get to accomplish the tax-free accounts. Those are going to be done, right? Uh, some of these goals I crossed out because I didn't want them anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with not desiring the things that you wanted today. Those desires are going to change. You're going to mature. You're going to think differently. Maybe you have a family in 2021. You want to get married. You, you want to have a house. I know some of my goals for this year. I want to um, open. I want to have a, a fourplex. I want to have my first fourplex. Right. Chairman 100. I have retiring my mom. I have the tax free work. I still want to do a traditional business. Like there's there's so many. Oh, where's my book? Where did I write these things down? Here? Right. Um, I said that one. I want to own my own house. I want to pay for my house through the residual coming through my real estate investments. I want to equal my residual from I am with passive income, right? I wanna be in the best holistic, physical and spiritual uh, um, shape of my life, right? I, I lost over 35 pounds, but that doesn't mean that's the best shape of my life. Why can't I do more? Why can't I become more fit? Why can't I become better, right? So write these things down. Do not limit yourself to the opportunity. Right. So it's so funny. I, um, maybe I'll talk about this. I'll talk about it now. Right. I'll talk about this now when I see it in my notes. Maybe I'll bring it up again. So, so many people say this to me. And this is like one of those things that like, you know, when like you say something and like it hurts your ears and you just like, you're like, oh, I don't want to hear that. Right. When someone tells me this. Yeah, I, I want to be platinum um, 2000 by March 31st. But realistically, I'll, I'll probably be P1000. Here is the thing. You're not going to hit P2. You're not going to hit P1. You probably won't even hit P6. Because you don't even believe in what you're saying. There is no realistically, there's reality. And guess who determines it? You. I am so happy and grateful now that I am Chairman 100. Now, I am so happy and grateful now that I'm Chairman 100, but I would be happy with Chairman 25. No. Now it's already done. That's why the now's there. 
That's why the now is there. I am so happy and grateful now that I am insert. Now I am insert. Don't give me this reality nonsense. Write these goals down as if you knew there was no restrictions, no financial hurdles. No one could tell you no. Write them down as if that, because here's the thing. It is as that. You're the only one that puts limitations on it because so many people, instead of figuring out why I can have it, right? Here's the difference. Stop saying you can't have it and start figuring out how you can get it. That's the difference between people that get what they want and people that don't. Okay, maybe realistically, right? Your bank account doesn't say a quarter mil in it, so you can't go buy that Lambo. But instead of cutting yourself off there, start figuring out how you could get it. Where could you start investing? Where could you start saving your money? Who could you start speaking to? Do you know any exotic dealers? Have you called a Lamborghini dealership and looked at what their financing looks like? So many of you want a jet, but you don't even know how much the jet fuel costs. You know jet fuel is like five to six grand per hour of flying? Start doing the research. Stop caring about whether you can or can't do it. Just say it's yours. The timeline doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Three months, nine months, 90 months, 10 years. I don't care. It's done. I don't care. It is done. So write those out. Don't write them out now. Really think about it, guys. This is why I was so nervous for this call, y'all. Like I was literally sweating. I had a sweater on. I changed my sweater. I switched my shirt to a different shirt because I was starting to get a little sweaty because I was like, if how I conveyed this message is going to determine everyone's reality. This is so, so important. So now that you have the goals, I think what's more, even more important than that is now making the game plan, actually working those goals out, right? A lot of people, they say, I, I, I want the Lambo, but then they go play PS5 all day. <laughs> you didn't even have enough money for the PS5. You put it on the credit card, right? And this happens because we don't plan it out. So many people ask, I don't know if what I'm doing or if what I'm thinking is getting me to where I want to go. You don't even know if where you want to go. So those thoughts could be thoughts that are helping you become more lazy. Those thoughts and those actions could be thoughts and actions that are helping you become more broke or more comfortable, right? And the only way, right? Because here's the thing. This is really, really important. Really important, right? We all understand that 95% of success it's spiritual, but that's not 100%. In order to have completion, what do you need? 100%. You know what the other 5% is? You going to work. The only example I'll give someone where I can say, if you lay in the street and say, I want a Lambo and you get a Lambo, is if a Lambo hits you in the middle of the street and then you sue them for that Lambo. It's the only way I'm going to allow completion to not occur. Right. Maybe the physical labor was you just laying in the street, but you have to work. Right. So you're going to write this down. Right. So let's say this. I am so happy and grateful now that I am platinum 600 by January 31st, 2021. What are you going to do? You're going to create smart goals. Right. You're going to create things that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time bound. I am so happy and grateful now that I am platinum 600. We're able to measure that. We have a compensation plan. It's something that has happened in history, so it's achievable. It's relevant to this business, and it's time bound by January 31st. Specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, it's relevant, and it's time bound. And let me tell you something, guys. Everything is achievable because someone else has done it before. The comp plan's maxed out. I've seen people withdraw eight figures this year. Anything is possible. <laughs> you just have to decide that it is so. So I am so happy and grateful now that I am platinum 600 by January 31st or whatever it may be. And then what you're going to do is actually create action steps for those goals, right? And that's why I love this document. If you look here, right, you can write it all down. You'll see that, right? What are the action steps? Some action steps are going to require three steps, five steps, seven steps, 10 steps. Some will only require one, right? But layer them out. Okay, how many people, so if I want to, like I want to smack P600, that's 12 people, awesome. 
if it's a one in 10 closing rate, I just need to expose 120 people. Okay, awesome. 12 out of 120, I got that number down. Okay, what do, where am I gonna go talk to these people now? Instagram, Facebook, contact list, the, the shopping market, the car dealership, um, you know, at work, right? Start going through those things, right? Prioritize those, work your way back, work your way forward, whatever it may be. Spend time on this. Like if you don't want to spend time on it, that just means you don't want the goal. Like if you're looking at the goal, you wrote it down and you're like, I don't really want to work on this right now. You don't want that. This should be something that you're losing sleep over. Because when I write my goals down, <laughs> I told Mike, we were laying on the couch. We were working on the website and I was taking a break. Uh, I got acupuncture in my shoulder, right? <laughs> I needed a little break. I was hurting. Uh, shout out to Marilita. And, and I, I laid on the couch and I said, man, isn't it crazy in 90 days? Like we're going to be making like $100,000 a month. And I was just laughing about it. And it wasn't laughing because I didn't believe it. It was just laughing because why not? I see it happening. Like, like literally, I see it happening. QC will be at 2,500 members in the next 90 days. Like for those of you that are brand new, you don't know what January and February and March are like. I don't have an open time slot. Listen, the year hasn't started yet. I do not have an open time slot with, with my personal time, my gym time, my journaling, all that kind of stuff, right? Lunch and, and food till January 3rd. January 3rd. That's five days away. You are not prepared for what happens in the next 90 days. But here's the best part. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun, right? Someone asked me today, what keeps you motivated? They're like, what keeps you motivated to keep doing these calls? They're like, you don't have to do this. And you're like, you're right, I don't. But that's exactly what keeps me motivated. Because I know people making 900, 90 times more than I do a month, and they work harder than I do. And here's the difference. I'm motivated because the look in your eyes that you have right now was the look in my eyes that I had in November of 2016. And that's what excites me. That's what gives me life. That's what gives me energy is you. And this dude was smiling cheek to cheek, dumbfounded by that answer. He didn't believe I was going to say it, but it's the truth. And the next 90 days will be the most fun that I know I've ever had in this business. <laughs> we accomplished goal number one, that a thousand people. The next goal is helping a thousand people help a thousand people. We accomplished chairman 10. The next goal is creating 10 chairman 10. We crack six figures. The next goal is help 100 people hit six figures, right, with, with trading. So go through these goals, right? Write down those action steps, right? Figure, and, and then here's the, the best part. Write down why the goal is important to you. I, I wholeheartedly believe this, that if you don't know why you're doing something, you will never do the actions required to get that desired result. It's the reason why people quit this business. It's the reason why people don't accomplish their goals. It's the reason why people don't move forward with anything. Like you don't know why you're doing it. Why is this goal important to you? Now that we have our yearly goals, our three-year goals, our five-year goals, and this is something I wrote. I want you guys to write this at the bottom. Write this at the bottom of your planner or wherever you're doing this. And this is what you're going to say. This is a one to three-year vision. Every goal is already accomplished. Time must catch up. Not time is going, time must catch up. I've declared and decreed that it is done. I, this is a one to three year vision. Every goal is already, keyword, already accomplished. Time must catch up. It is done. Write that at the bottom of your goals. Let's go into our monthly goals, right? We talked about the 10 year right? We're breaking that down. We talked about the one year. Now let's talk about the monthly, right? We can talk about the quarterly too, but all that is, is just what do you want to accomplish over the next 90 days of all the goals you've had, you know, of all the things that you've already thought about, of all the things that you're going through, what do you want to accomplish in this quarter in the next 90 days? The monthly is what's going to make that possible. David Amitia says that he will not speak to anyone on his team about game planning, if they do not have a monthly review, where's my monthly review? If they do not have a monthly, oh, I ripped it up. <laughs> Never mind, right? A monthly review. 
Now, for some of you that are brand new, your, your, or your month may not be as active, right? I already have my monthly review done. I have the next eight months done. I know what I'm, I'm on a plane January 2nd. I'm back on the plane January 6th. I'm back on a plane January 7th. Back on a plane January 14th. Back on the plane January 17th. Back on the plane um, January or February 5th, right? So I, I, I know what it looks like. Organize the events. Organize your big trainings. If you don't know where you're going or what you're working to, you're working aimlessly. I've said this before and I'll say it again. There is a rat race in entrepreneurship. You're hopping on the calls for brownie points. You're hopping on the calls because now it's become habitual. You're showing up to go live, but you're not even fully attentive, right? You're going to the convention because someone said you had to go to the convention. You're in the rat race. There's no intention behind your actions, right? So you have to know what you're working towards. You have to know when you're available, right? Like if you have a birthday party you need to go to, write that in the planner. So when you say, okay, I have a birthday party this week on Thursday, that means I got to get my Thursday activities done between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. There shouldn't be any excuse for a lack of time. Time is abundant. Time, time first off, isn't even real, right? It isn't even real. Someone just said, someone determined time for us, right? That, that's all there is to it. But you have to decide, right, what you're going to do. Life happens, so prepare for it. One of my favorite quotes, life happens, so prepare for it, right? Now let's go into our weekly review. This is something that people ask me a lot. I'll go ahead and open up the weekly review here. And this is super awesome. The weekly review is amazing to me because it's something that I do on every single Sunday. Every single Sunday, I say, what was my biggest accomplishments and wins this week? What did I do really, really well this week? I start with what I did well. Then I talk, I ask myself, okay, what were the lessons that I learned? And where did I struggle? What were three lessons I learned in three areas that I struggled with? Was I struggling waking up on time? Was I struggling being on time to webinars? Um, was I struggling you know, with fitness or with meals or anything like that? Um, whatever it may be for you, right? Write those things down. And then determine, right? You guys will see here in this document, right? The recap, what you learned, what your lessons were, and then what your goals are. Determine this week's goals. Guys, this is a Sunday activity. A lot of people tell me all the time, oh, well, Tim, you know, if I went to the gym, you know, I wouldn't have as much time in the day to work. If I, Tim, if I meditated, that would take away from me getting to my messages. Uh, Tim, if I prayed, you know, I, I wouldn't be. But how, how do you feel after you leave the gym? Good. How do you feel after you meditate? Good. How do you feel after you pray? Relieved. Good right? There's things that you should do. How do you feel when you organize your schedule? You feel sane. Like if I wasn't organized, I would be, I would, dude, lock me up. I'd be insane. But because I organize every Sunday, I feel calm. I feel relaxed. Do I get overwhelmed? Absolutely. Absolutely. I get overwhelmed because I'm excited. I get overwhelmed because I'm excited about what I do. I'm excited about my career choice, my life, my business. I don't over, I'm not overwhelmed because I'm like, damn, I wish not these many people want to do calls with me. I'm overwhelmed because I can't believe that what I wished for four years ago is actually happening. What I desired four years ago is actually happening today. And that's why I get overwhelmed, overwhelmed from excitement. But it's because of this that makes it possible. So I determine, okay, what are my week's goals and priorities? right? Do I need to wake up at a certain time? Do I need to talk to X amount of customers? Do I need to finish this book? What content do I need to create? Who do I need to speak to in, in the leadership team, right? What calls do I need to do? Now, after I've determined the weekly goals, I got to determine the action steps. And this is why that challenge I gave you guys is so important. Because if you're reading your era questions every single day, it's going to be easier for you to create action steps for your month action steps for your week, action steps for your day, right? And I said this before, 95% of success is spiritual. You have to believe that it's going to happen. You have to know that it's the truth. But the other 5% is testing your belief. I think that's the secret in the quote. I think I, I, think I just came up with the secret, right? That 5% is the test 
on whether or not you actually believe what you said is true. Because it's, I've said this, it's easy to shout, easy to shout chairman. It's easy to shout FTMO funded. It's easy to write your goals in this book. But the 5% of the action required to have completion is the test. Not only the test, it's the testament to whether or not you believe what you said is true. So if you're struggling doing the actions of those goals, you just don't believe in it. And that is okay, guys. Don't take it as a bad thing. Just change your goals. Maybe you're not ready for that. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But the action is the testament to your belief. Gosh, that is so powerful. I'm so happy that this is recorded. I'm so happy that this is recorded. Now let's go into the daily. Flip to it like a page here that doesn't have a lot of, it all has writing. This page doesn't, have, uh, we'll flip to this page. <laughs> what did I write for this one? Oh, I'll find a good one. Oh, this is an empty page. We'll go ahead and use this one. I guess I did, on 6-11 six six of 2020, I didn't write shit. Well, there you go. <laughs> there, there's the truth for you, right? On June 11th, nothing got written down in this journal. So let's talk about the daily now. And I, I want to challenge you guys again one more time so you can hear it just in case you came on late, just in case this just in case it slipped out one year and went out the one in one out year, went out the other. I challenge you to read this every morning. I challenge you to read your planner every single morning, your affirmations every single morning. Guys, you have 15 minutes from the moment that you wake up to take advantage of your subconscious mind. And let me tell you a little secret snoozing the alarm and taking a nap and then waking up an hour later you don't get a reattempt at those 15 minutes you have one shot to do it and there's no better way to wake up in the morning to see your current reality right in front of your face you have 15 minutes every morning you wake up to immediately get into this planner immediately put yourself in that environment immediately put yourself in that wavelength right whatever you need to do if it's a cup of water in the morning, if it's the cold shower, if, if it's a, a no car, I have no cards by my alarm. Um, if it's like a, an, a, there's alarm clocks that once they turn on, they have wheels and they, they run around your room, right? Whatever, if it's five push-ups, five sit-ups, five jumping jacks, the moment you wake up, you got to wake up and you got to do it. And I challenge you to read that, those statements, that those answers that you gave for yourself for 30 days straight and then do it before you go to bed as well. Because the last thing you think about is what your subconscious mind is going to focus on, right? Now, I, I can't give you the detailed explanation of how that works. Just go listen to Feeling is a Secret by Nella Goddard. You'll learn how it works. He will teach you much better than I can. Go to Apple Music, go to SoundCloud, go to YouTube, type in Feeling is the Secret. And let's do this. Because we, 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 we said, once we say it out loud, right? What do we say? Once we say it out loud, it's created. Once we write it down, it's seen. And once you share it, you're held accountable to it. So if you accept that challenge for the next 30 days, we'll, we'll make it 32 days. Or if you start on January 1st, write in the chat, challenge accepted. Now, perfect, right? So when you start your day, I think one of the most important thing as you guys are typing that in is know exactly what you want to do. Know exactly what you want to do for the day. And I, I think the best way to do that is just to begin with gratitude. Right, Matt Rosa became with came up with one of the most amazing things, the three, two, one activity. Right, three things that you're grateful for, and this is how I do it. Right, you, you see the line right here, how it says one, two, three. I just reverse it. Three things I'm grateful for. Um, three things that I'm grateful for. Uh, no, three people that I'm grateful for. My apologies. Three people that I'm grateful for. Two things that I'm grateful for, because there's nothing wrong being grateful for things. A lot of the times, I'm like my bed or coffee. <laughs> or um, I'll say like my laptop or telegram, just random things, right? Random things. And number one, what's your attention is for the day. And the reason why I think reading the planner, right? Reading that arrow, those answers, putting yourself in a state of gratitude, because now when you make that intention for the day, do you think that your attention is going to be an intention of much higher frequency? Or if you just woke up groggy and you're like, fuck, my intention for today is just to survive. What do you think is better? Probably getting on a higher frequency. Maybe your intention is to impact two lives. Your intention is to, it doesn't matter what your intention is, but your intention is going to be of a much higher frequency, a much higher purpose, a much higher you, right? A much higher you. Um, 
and then you're going to plan your priorities for the day. These priorities should land and equate to your weekly priorities, which lead to your monthly priorities, which lead to your daily priorities. The reason why I'm going through this so quickly, guys, is each one of these chapters, each one of these things, I can do a whole hour training on it. But your job is to take this information, receive it, go out and apply it, and learn through experience, learn through trial and error. Go research people that teach on this. I promise you it's worth it. Remember, personal development isn't always Eric Worre. It isn't always Jim Rohn, right? Go learn about business. Go learn about money. Go learn about personal development. Go learn about spirituality. Go spend time in learning lessons from other religions. Go go do, ton I learn lessons from tons of other religions. I'm Christian, but I still go and learn about other things, right? Like just go learn all the time. Right. And, and that's what makes this so powerful is I don't have to teach you everything. You already know everything. It just has to be unlocked. Everything's already been created from the instant that the universe was there. Everything was already created. It's just not seen yet. Right. That's <laughs> I'm not going to go into that either because I'm not qualified to teach on that. Right. You can go search on that. What is your to do list? What is your affirmations for the day? Right. And then write out your schedule. When I do my weekly, something that's really helped me, guys, and I'm just be honest with you, is I know what my week looks like on Sunday. I know when I'm waking up. I know when I'm going to the gym. I know, um, you know, when the calls are for the week. I know when the go live sessions are. I used to joke in college because I was so busy. I made this joke when I used to do my trainings. Uh, and, and maybe Nick Strauss will remember this. I would do trainings on organizations and I would say like, I am so organized. I know when I'm going to shit. Like that's how organized I used to be. I was organized by the 15 minute, the 30 minute, because I just did not have time. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I knew I didn't have time. And that was perfectly fine because time can be created and there's never a lack of time. There's a lack of typically resourcefulness, a, there's a lack of priorities. And so I, I always tell people this, stop telling me why you can't do something and start talking to me on why you should do something. Stop telling me you don't have enough time. Stop telling me you don't have enough money. Stop telling me it doesn't work. You need to reverse it. You need to start talking to me because you're telling me and I'm not listening. I don't care about your problems. Everyone has problems. You get, I tell people, you get 60 seconds with me with problems. After that, solution time, right? I tell Mike something. There's some people right now on the team, and Mike knows because I brought it up. I see the text message, and I wait my sweet-ass time to respond because I know it's just going to be bitching about something. There's never solutions. It's always just issues, right? Stop talking to me about your problems. Stop talking to me why you can't do something and start talking to me about why you should do it because once you know why, we'll figure out the how. I heard this amazing quote. Man, where was it from? I'm going to butcher it. It, he was, it. it was this concept behind the why the how doesn't really matter and why you need to stop relying on yourself. Because if you truly believe in God, if you truly believe in the universe or whatever your belief system is, and you believe that there's a higher power that is in control that has created everything for your favor, that has created you in its image, that gave you the one most important, powerful, literally, what is it called, power that you could ever have called imagination, why would you limit yourself to only you being able to accomplish something? And why would you not just trust that the how was already taken care of? Because the why was given to you in the first place. The thought was given to you in the first place. The vision was given to you in the first place. So just because you can't visualize the how now doesn't mean that the how is not already there. So stop limiting yourself, right? Stop limiting yourself and start telling me why you should do it. Guys, when I do that weekly schedule, it makes my life so much easier because now I open up the page. Let's say that this is the page for the example, right? I woke up, I have right here, I have, this is funny. Oh, this was the day I was traveling. Oh, damn, this day sucked. I remember this. So we had bounce back at 7 a.m., trade house at uh, 8 a.m. I had a, a, a team call for Elmer. We had to drop the rental off, get a new rental. And then we had a, this was when we were in Denver. I remember this. Yeah, I remember this day. And we had to drive 11 hours to LA. That drive sucked, <laughs> but we had to do it. I didn't write anything else in there because I was just driving the whole entire time, right? I was a professional driver on that trip. And, uh, but here's the thing. If that was my schedule, let's say I just drop off the rental and then I write and get home at one o'clock. I now know from two to 9 p.m., 
I have nothing scheduled. Nothing was scheduled from Tuesday night. Nothing was scheduled from Wednesday night. Nothing was scheduled from Monday night. Nothing scheduled from Sunday night. It's Thursday. It's the morning. That means what can I do? Go to my weekly, what are my, my weekly goals and say, awesome. I have seven hours to fill in time. Because a lot of the times when things aren't scheduled, we just don't do it. You'll go lay on and scroll through TikTok. You'll scroll through Instagram. You'll, you'll, you'll go dilly dally and go play video games. Or you'll go watch TV and you'll say, damn, I can't believe today's already over. Damn, I didn't get anything done today. But if you just looked at your planner, you would have got it done. right? You, you would have got it done. Guys, I'm going to end it with this story. We're going to keep this an hour long. That's one of my goals for 2021, shorter trainings. I'm going to figure out how to do it. I haven't told this story in a long time. So if I butcher it, I apologize. But I, I think... I think it's really, really valuable. And I, I like to equate goals and I like to equate things that we want to accomplish to going to a restaurant. And we've all been to a restaurant. Maybe some of us haven't been to a restaurant in a long time because of COVID or whatnot, but uh, we've all been to a restaurant at some point in our life. And I want to explain to you why setting goals is the same as ordering food at a restaurant. Now, when you arrive to a restaurant and you talk to the hostess and you get sat down, you get what? A menu placed in front of you. And when you're looking through that menu, you know that you can have whatever you want. You can have an appetizer, you can have an entree, you can have a dessert, you can have a water or an alcoholic beverage, you can have a side, you can have two things, three things, four things, you can order whatever you want. And you know this because when the waitress comes up to you, she typically asks you, what do you want? Or what do you desire is what she's really asking you, right? What do you desire from the menu? And what do you do? You tell the waitress exactly what you want, what you want. And you know what she does? She writes it down and officializes that desire. She makes that desire a reality. And why is that desire a reality? Because it was written down. We don't know. The moment that waitress leaves, we don't know what happens to that piece of paper. We don't know what ingredients they're using. We don't know if the chef has a degree or is qualified, how many people are working back there, if it's food being warmed up or food made fresh. We don't know. We just know that it's going to be made. We know that the food is going to come to the table. Here's the difference, right? Sometimes when that food is being made, it, it, it takes long. Maybe they don't have as many chefs in the back or, or maybe the type of meat that you're eating requires to be cooked longer or the side that you ordered, you know, requires, you guys ever get to ask this question like, hey, do you want your appetizer to come with the entree because they're gonna be done around the same time, right? We, we don't know. Sometimes it takes long, sometimes it takes faster. But here's the difference. The time only really affects us whether or not we're enjoying our time at that table. And we typically enjoy that time at that table or not determined by who we're spending that time with. You ever go to a restaurant and you're just laughing the whole entire time and the food comes out of nowhere? Or you ever been with family at a restaurant and you're just sitting on your phone the whole entire time and the food finally comes and you're like, holy shit, that couldn't come any faster or that couldn't come any slower, right? I wanted to segue for a second and ask yourself, who are you deciding to bring to the table with you? If you had three options of people, <clears throat> cough, cough, P150, to go sit at the table with you, who would you pick? Who would make it enjoyable? Who would make it valuable? Ask yourself that question. Just really quick, think about it. Right off the top of your head, who would you bring? Here's the thing, guys. Whether the food comes quickly or comes slow, the food always comes. As long as you sit at the table, you can sit there. Now, sometimes you may have to go to the bathroom. You may have to go take a phone call. You may have to step off the track. But as long as you come back to the table, the food is going to be there. Guys, there is people who have left the business in quarter four. 
There is people who have left the business in 2020. And they could have been a chairman. They would have been funded. They should have been making impact. They could have retired their parents. They would have hit that rank that they required. There were some people that quit in December being paid residually, but they walked away from the table. And those people who quit in quarter four are going to reflect four quarters from now and see everyone that they left doing exactly as they desired solely because they sat at the table. When you guys confess what your desire is, you just have to wait long enough. It's been spoken out loud. It's been written down. And there's thousands of people around you holding you accountable. You just have to stick around long enough. And I promise you, your goals will accomplish. They will happen. They will manifest. And you will be grateful that you did it. So guys, I love you. I am grateful for each and every single one of you. This is going to be one of the most powerful quarters of any of our lives. There is nothing, there is nothing that is going to compare to the next 90 days. Tomorrow, Mike, uh, Diego, Nancy, and I will be launching a soft launch of what the new QC launch is going to look like. It's taking a little bit more time than we thought. A lot has been happening. Our schedules have been stupid insane, but it's going to be launched. Followed that, we have David Imonitie at nine o'clock talking about 2021, the man, the myth, the legend himself. On Thursday, we have the day off that spend some time on New Year's Eve going through this planner, guys. Before you go have fun with your friends, before you go have fun you know, um, you know, with your family, spend some time with that. And I'm gonna ask you guys a quick little question here, right? A lot of you are gonna go out on the 31st with friends that only want to drink with you, but don't want to see you win. So I, I really challenge you to become aware of who you're spending the last night of the year with and the first morning of the day with. I, I really challenge you to think about it. And it's going to hurt a little bit. But if those people are the ones that you're spending your last night of the year with and your first day of the, the, the year that's literally going to change your life with, and they're not aligned with where you're going, you're in the wrong place. You are in the wrong place. Right. January 1st, we have a training on how to launch people in 2021 the right way. On the 2nd, we have Chairman 100 John Guaman doing a training called Setting the Tone. On the 3rd, we have Seven Figure Mentorship. I, I don't know which one the speaker is yet. I have to go back and look. I forgot. And on Monday, we have a special Chairman 750 treat to start the first week of 2021 off on the right foot. So, guys, I, I really hope that this training was valuable. I know there's people that missed this call. There was events on the East Coast. Um, there's trainings that are happening. There's closing calls. People are swamped. If you had individuals on your team that were not on this call, if your leader <laughs> is not on this call, the person that got you started, send them this recording. I promise you, right, it, it will be life-changing, not only for you, but for your business and for those who receive it. So guys, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. I can say it a thousand times over. I am not who I am today without each and every single one of you. There is no Azucar Poppy without QC. Uh, so guys, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow on tomorrow's call.